<laughs> I forgot where we were. So did I. It's kind of fun, huh? Yeah. That's great. This place is like straight out of a magazine. It's so beautiful and private. And the brochure said that it was the best little place to get married. What do you think? I think that as long as it makes you happy, it can be whatever you want. You know what I think? I think that this little gift fell straight from heaven right into our laps. Wow, look at this place. This is the most amazing place for two people who love each other to get married. Exactly what I was thinking. I mean, is this not the most fantastic place to promise to love each other for the rest of our lives? For all eternity. How did you happen to pick this particular place? Don't let them leave. It's too late they have. Bruce promised he'd send a tow truck with tires for your car. It's the least he can do, considering he's the one who slashed your tires. I'm gonna take a shower. Won't do any good. Look at you. You're hungry. You haven't fed in a very long time, and you know, we both know your symptoms are just gonna get worse Not and now. worse. Yes, Not now. Now is when you need... You need it. You need me. I came up here as fast as I could. I didn't have time to get any blood. And the good thing is you don't need that. You have me. Come on, it's just us. We're all alone again. Please let me help you. Understand, do you? I was about to feed on Elizabeth. But you didn't. Because you stopped me. If I hadn't walked through that door and stopped you, you would have stopped yourself. No, why can't you listen to me? I was about to do the one thing, the one thing that I said I would never do to feed on another human being. And yes, if you hadn't walked in here, if you hadn't stopped me. Me, you're right. I will give you that. I saved you. And so now what are you telling me to do? Get out of here? That's the payback I get for saving you? Go? What I've become will tear us apart sooner or later. Only if you let it. Because we love each other. And I hate this. I can't live apart from you. And I hate watching you suffer like this. When I'm it, I'm the solution. I. I'm the solution. No. I can... You know what I hate? I hate using you as some kind of an antidote. Okay, fine. Then I'll make it easy for you. You make love to me because you want me. Because you can't stand to walk into a room and have me standing there and not take me in your arms and show me how much you love me. That's not fair. What's fair, then? Me wanting to live with you and be in your life and not being able to? Is it fair that all I want to do is make love to you? That makes me happy. And somehow that isn't a reason enough for me to be with you. That's not a good enough reason for no. you. There are only two ways to solve this. One is if I somehow find a cure. And the other? You don't want to hear the I have to hear the other tell me. I would rather us live apart than to watch you grow to hate me. Annette, you present everything so beautifully. Are the scones homemade? Fresh this morning, so is oh. the marmalade. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm moving in tomorrow. 
You are, huh? What am yeah. I supposed to do? You can come with me. I'm sure Annette wouldn't mind. We're not too much trouble. Right, she's right. We just need a daily supply of scones and marmalade. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. And don't forget the spa services. Mm -hmm. One good massage is the staff of life. Mm -hmm. I knew she was our kind of people. Honestly, you can stay as long as you'd like. I mean, this is also a wonderful place to honeymoon. Hmm. You can do some rearranging of rooms. Well, we might have to talk about that later. Well, just let me know. And, um, by the way, I ordered up the flowers that you wanted, but I forgot to ask you if you have someone to conduct the ceremony. Yes, we do. Our minister's driving up. Mm, that's lovely. What about your other guests? We have an arrangement with a very nice motor hotel about 20 minutes away. They'll even be happy to shuttle your guests for the wedding. Thank you for the offer. This time it's just going to be the two of us. I'm very happy here. Believe me, um, there are a lot of couples who come up here on their own. As long as you have each other. You know, who needs anything else? That's what we say all the time. Enjoy your breakfast, and be sure to let me know if there's anything you need. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, would you love me more if I could make scones like this? You can, and mm -hmm. you do. And uh, what are you thinking about? Um, actually, I was just thinking about how much fun it would be if you and I had a place like this, a bed and oh, breakfast yeah. to run. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's, uh, there's something else. I know there's something going on in that head of yours. So... Let's be honest with me, okay? Are you, are you sure you really want to go through with this? First, you tell me you love the place, and then you start questioning me about it. I'm not questioning you exactly. It's just I really never thought of you as the bed and breakfast type of guy. Well, I did all this for you. I thought you might like it, but if it's going to bother you, then... No. No, it's just... I don't know. I guess I, I got to get a little looser about things. I mean, I can be as unpredictable as anyone, right? It's one of your more attractive qualities. Then it's settled. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I'm starting to love it. I mean, the idea of us going someplace out into the ordinary, it should be pretty good for us. There is a, a certain symbolism to it. It's a clean slate for us. What does that mean? Well, you're just going to have to trust me. I mean, we did promise to start trusting each other, didn't we? Are you kidding me? Of course I want to get married. I know. I know you want to marry me. I just do you want to do it here, now. Why are you even asking me this? Because, well, you know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, just take off, run away, come to a place like this, just do it. But I, you know, I'm thinking maybe I pushed a little no. too hard. No, I, no, no, no. You didn't you push know, well, me. And, it's still a very good idea. I love the idea. I know, idea. but you, you always wanted a big wedding. I mean, you know, and at least with friends, family, you know, people we love. They, they, they'd, they'd be there, and they'd, they'd see us. You know what, what we always said that they, they would, they would, they would witness us right. declaring our love for each I other. I think forever. everybody knows that, that we love each other, and you know we'll have this private ceremony for you and I. It'll be very special, and then we'll go back home, where everybody can tell us how selfish we were because we didn't invite them, and we can celebrate with everyone else I there. I just don't want you to have any regrets. Rafe, come on. We're about to get married. Hey, you know what? I saw your face when our, our lovely hostess, Annette, was talking about bringing people up here. For a second, not even a whole minute, I thought that it would be fun to have people see, around and see, everyone that's here. What I said. That's, but then, that's what but I'm then, saying. but then, it would be nice if we did have some people here. It would, it really would. But I think that this, this way, it will be better for us. Are you sure you're not just trying to talk yourself into this? I swear. I don't need an, an audience of a hundred. I need an audience of two. Of you and God, and that's it. Okay, so stop worrying about me, please. So it sounds like you, you really want to be my wife, mm -hmm. huh? I do very much. And I don't want to wait anymore. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. I want to tell the whole world that I am your wife and you are my husband. Mm -hmm. 
your wife. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, I, I really can't wait. And I don't have any regrets whatsoever. But I don't want you to have any regrets either. So, after I have now eaten two and a half scones, <laughs> you relax and I will go take a shower, okay? Okay. It's my wife. Mm. Yeah. Caleb? Mm. I need you to know that, um, I, uh, I, I do trust you. It's just that sometimes you say things that throw me, like clean slate. It's just an expression. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what you meant by that. Well, I thought about getting married at the villa, but uh, it's been done already. So clean slate means try something new, different. But if that idea is somehow makes you uncomfortable or makes you nervous, then... No. You know what I think? Don't laugh at me, please. But I, I just think that I am getting a little nervous and not about where we're getting married, just the fact that we're actually getting married. I mean, legally. And I suppose if I was being completely honest, I would admit the anticipation of what's to come. It's gotten to me, too. Were you wedding jitters? Yeah, something like that. You ready to start packing? Absolutely. Don't forget the black nightgown. Oh, you mean the black, tiny, little, lacy thing that barely exists? Yeah, that would be the one. I want to leave before nightfall. Where are you going? I haven't had a chance to finish my wedding vows yet. I just need some time alone to make them Back soon. So that's what you want me to do right now is just leave and leave you up here all alone. Yeah. All right. Uh, you leave me no choice. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Why? Why do you have to make this more difficult than it already is? Okay, I'll make it easy for you. How about that? I'll, I'll, I'll make it very, very easy for you. I'm the slayer. You're the vampire. Fight me. I want you to fight me until only one of us is left standing. Now, you know, personally, I'd rather use all my power for good, not evil, but if you want to do this, we'll do that. Your choice. What is wrong with you, woman? You, you want me to fight you? You want... Yeah. Come on. Just, just do it and, and until one of us is left standing, and but otherwise we're not going to get out that door, so that's what we're going to do. Really? Really. I'm serious, and, you know, I'm, I'm not kidding because I don't give up, and I would never, ever, ever ever give up on you. But I'm not me anymore. Yes, you are. You're you plus. Yes, you are a doctor and you are a vampire. And you saved my life when I was dying. And I, I was so sick. You saved me because of who you are, because you're both. I, I, I couldn't figure out if I was ever going to get better, but all your brilliant ability as a man and as a doctor, you saved me, you healed me. So what do you say? Now I handed you some kind of a gift, is that it? Yeah, you did. And now it's my turn. I'm a slayer. I don't know why. I just thank God I have some sort of purpose. And if that purpose is to save you, or at least to heal you for now, then that's what I'm going to do. And it does not in any way diminish you in my eyes. So, if 
fight me or love me. Start packing? Absolutely. Don't forget the black nightgown. Oh, you mean that black, tiny, little, lacy thing that barely exists? Yeah, that would be the one. I want to leave before nightfall. I want to leave before nightfall. Oh, God, why can't I trust him? Except the fact that he loves me and he wants to marry me. Why do I always think that something else has got to be going on? too perfect. Livy, what can I tell him how I really feel? Maybe it's because you're feeling a little guilty, Olivia. Especially when it comes to trusting. Yeah, but I've given you so many reasons not to trust me. I just, I worry if you ever are gonna be able to trust me again. I'm taking you as my wife. Shouldn't that prove something? It's just... <sighs> Hello? Hello, is Miss Manning there? This is Annette Manning. May I help you? Yes, my name is Olivia Locke. My fiancé, Caleb Morley, has arranged for us to be married there this weekend. Morley, um, yes, here it is, Morley and Locke. He's a charming man, your fiancé. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, I just, I have a few questions about the logistics. Has he arranged for a honeymoon suite for us? Truthfully, Ms. Locke, all our rooms can be called honeymoon suites. It's our specialty. Well, that's, that's great to hear. And what about the ceremo ceremony? Will that be held in a, a separate room? You know, your fiancé was very clear about what he wanted. He took care of absolutely every detail. Yeah, he usually does. I promise you don't need to worry about a thing. Well, that, that is definitely a relief. It's just, you know, I really have never heard of you guys before. I was, I was wondering how he is. Oh, we're not a very well-kept secret. We do lots of weddings. In fact, another couple is getting married the very same day as you. Sweet people, I bet you'll like them. Oh, that's really great. That's, that's really great. I, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I, um, I can't wait to see you then. I, I can't wait to get there. You sound like a very nice woman. Oh, well, getting married is quite an adventure. I don't blame you for being curious. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Okay, have a safe trip. <sighs> okay, Libby. You have no reason not to trust him. You really did it right this time. Hey, it's awfully lonely in here, all by myself. So you need someone to wash your back? It would be nice. I mean, a guy does have to have clean hair. Come here. <laughs> have I mentioned lately how much I love you? Oh, not here, Anna. Uh, I do. I am a very happy man, and I gotta tell you something, it's, it's all your fault. reveals the secret that will change Pine Valley forever. Today on All My Children.